Okay, so I want to point out the different stitches to you and so that you know how to change things. So there is a red side and there is a green side. And the basic stitches that we use are gonna be the straight stitch and the zigzag, which is one and two. So in order to move it, we push this over and up or down. So I wanna move it all the way down to one and two but we want to be careful that we also have the correct measurements and that we are on the green side, not the red side. Because you'll notice it also selected 9 and 10 at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll double check that we are green and not red. So down here is where it has the different sides. So this would be the red side, this would be the green side. You're moving this back one, not this knob, this back one. So we want green side. And now we want to take a look at that stitch. So for number one, we wanna make sure we have the right specifications. You don't have to worry too much about presser foot. Sometimes you might need to change the presser foot, but for this one, we're gonna look and see, okay, number one, um, I want presser foot number one, which is what I have, and then I wanna look, I need to have the width either at zero or three. So if I'm doing number one, I want the width at zero. If I'm doing number two, I want the width at three. So the width is over here, so I want it at zero, for the straight stitch, go back to look, and it says stitch length. So I want two or one and a half. I'm actually gonna say let's do two and a half for a straight stitch. That's gonna be our basic length. So going to our length here, we're gonna go to two and a half, which is right in between two and three, right there. That's our straight stitch length, that's our basic length, okay? Now we're going to take a look and this is just the needle position. You're not gonna to worry too much about that for this part, okay? So that's how we change our stitches. If you are deciding to change to a different stitch, for example, if you wanted to go to a 11, which is a red stitch, you would have to move it over, go up to 11 on the red side. You would have to switch to red and you would have to double check what your requirements are. So you need a four for width and a two for length. So I would go to the width and I would go to four. I know this is the width because I can see this is how wide it can get. And get it right to the four. And then I want a two for length. So just up a little bit to two. And then I have the right specifications for that one. Please only practice ones that require a presser foot of number one because we don't want to be changing presser feet for the practicing of the decorative stitches. Okay, we're gonna do some decorative stitches. This is the fun part. You are supposed to do at least three different decorative stitches and at least one of them needs to be from the red side. So stitch six on the side, I go up to the six. I can see that it wants me to use a uh, number four for this stitch width and it also wants me to use number one for the stitch length. So I'll go to number one. Okay, so I've got my number one, I've got my stitch width and I'm going to put some fabric in and I'm going to see how this goes. So we'll pop some fabric in, give it about a centimeter from the last one, lower my needle down, lower my presser foot and I'm gonna go slowly on a decorative stitch at first until I'm comfortable. So you can see based on the stitch, the needle should be moving around different ways. Okay, and I'm gonna stop. Remember, I'm gonna raise my needle all the way up so that I cannot lose my thread when I take it out. Lift my presser foot give my thread a bit of a pull so that I can have some extra threads for next time. And you can see that actually almost looks just like a zigzag that I did, this decorative stitch. Okay, I wanna demonstrate doing a red stitch for you. So I have a bit of a different piece of fabric here. I'm going to go over, I like um, number 14 looks interesting to me, but I want it to be red. So I'm gonna switch to the red side and I'm going to lay, take a look at what number 14 needs. So number 14 needs a four for width, and it also needs, oops, sorry. Number 14 also needs a two for stitch length. So we'll go over here to the two. 
and we'll give ourselves a start right over here so lowering that down lowering the presser foot and let's see what this stitch is like okay I'm gonna lift it up I'm gonna lift this needle all the way up top position and I'm going to gently pull so that I can take a look so this is an interesting stitch So we got two different decorative um, stitches here and we've tried from the green side and the red side making sure to pay attention to the different requirements on the stitch. So I did my sample in actually two parts but yours should actually be one big piece and you should be able to show me the straight stitch with back stitching and back stitching at the front and end you should have a basting stitch. You should have a zigzag stitch that gets wider as it goes. You should have three decorative stitches to show me. When you are all done this and you're happy with your stitches, you will staple this fabric sample to the sheet, the practicing stitches sheet, and you will hand it in to me in the hand-in bin.